Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of The Cloudy Vape. In this video we're going to be talking about the Segeli Mini. I received the Segeli Mini from GearBest.com for review so let's check it out. First things first, let's have a little vape. Very nice performance very much power and much innovation um, this is the uh, Kanger Subtank Nano also picked it up from GearBest.com and I'm using some uh, Choco, Choco Peanut Butter from Decadent Vapors alright so a few things before we dive down and check out this device this device is about $59 uh, from GearBest.com they have a sale going on if you just put in Subtank or not Subtank Segeli Mini, I believe, is a coupon code. I will put the coupon code in the description box below. And it's like $39, I believe, so you get a couple bucks off. So that is just something to throw out there. I'm not sure when that sale ends, but it is uh, it is available. Uh, as far as everything else on this device, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, the only issue I have is I wasn't a huge fan of the IPV Mini, and uh, it seems that this is the same chip. This is the XS... The Yihi XS130, I believe, I, SX130, I believe that's what this chip is, and it's the same one in the Segeli Mini. So it has a few features, readouts that I don't like how it shows, but that's just subjective, I guess. Uh, you know, the, the battery jumps up and down. If you can see right here, battery does jump up and down. Basically, it's pulsing and stuff like that. Uh, so you have a few different options. You basically have your DC mode and your PWM mode, just like the IPV Mini. And uh, yeah, uh, the cool thing about this, it's a little bit more sleeker than the IPV Mini. And also it comes with this nice little silicone uh, slip, this cover that kind of helps you grip a little bit better. And uh, the buttons are a little bit more clickier. So those are just some things I like. So I'm definitely liking it more than the IPV Mini. That's all I'm kind of ranting about, but... Without more ranting, let's dive down and check out this box mod. So here is the Segeli Mini. This is the box it comes in. It is a very sleek box, and uh, I'm going to try to pop it out. Let's see. All right, so you have a few things going on. Basically, it just says Mini Segeli, and then on the back, it has a few different things, warnings and uh, technical specs. As far as what comes in here, this is just your basic manual. It gives you some ideas, uh, tells you what it's about. It's also in Chinese, in case you read Chinese. Um, so yeah, just a few different things going on in here. And yeah, the, all the features are pretty similar, similar to the uh, IPV Mini. Here is your uh, Asmodis warranty card, 90 day warranty um, agreement, basically limited coverage and repairs. Basically it won't repair water damage and um, if it's your fault, it will. they will uh, repair, um, you know, factory defects and stuff like that. So that is pretty cool just in case you do get one that uh, might be a bad, bad bunch or something. So right when it comes in the box, basically it's going to come with a uh, little silicone sleeve and I believe you can have different colors. Uh, as far as I know right now, um, to my knowledge, I believe it's just silver and black is the only, uh, the only colors you can get. So uh, you can also get multiple colors in this little silicone pack, uh, silicone sleeves. So here's a silicone sleeve, basically you just have your respective uh, cutouts for uh, each area here's where your battery uh, your battery vent is so this is pretty nice I do enjoy this little silicone sleeve it does make it really comfortable uh, here is the the device itself so you have a spring-loaded uh, 510 right here it also is copper uh, the connection is copper uh, you have a couple allen screws right here to hold on the top you also have a couple allen screws to hold on to the bottom uh, as far as your uh, uh, charging you can charge right here if you want um, I would personally just charge in a charger and not actually use a USB if you know uh, in my previous videos any of these things that charge anything that has an external battery and has a charging option I just charge in a charger that but you know that's just my uh, my pet peeve so uh, you can do whatever you whatever you like so looking at this device it is pretty darn small so to talk a little bit about the specs of this 
we got uh, 90 millimeters from here to here, uh, roughly 90 millimeters, roughly 36 millimeters from here to here, and 22 millimeters wide, roughly 22 millimeters wide. Uh, as far as everything else, like I said, this does fire down to 0.3, all the way up to 3 ohms, spring-loaded, and all that good stuff. Uh, the whole build is made out of aluminum alloy, and uh, that's what the whole encasement is made out of. There might be, uh, you know, individual little parts that are that are not that, but uh, the whole base of it is uh, aluminum. Uh, your contact is copper, like I have already stated, and this is where your battery goes. Right here, you have a four battery or four batteries. You do not have four batteries. That'd be crazy. You have uh, eight magnets to hold this on. You have roughly uh, three. I would say these are about uh, four millimeter uh, vents, three four millimeter vents going on right there. And so it just holds on kind of like most of your Segeli devices. So you do have magnets to hold this on. You just pop this off from the bottom. You have your little uh, lanyard right here to pop out your battery. Right now I'm using an MXJO battery. So looking inside, it does have some markings. It does have reverse polarity protection, but uh, just in case, I would not recommend doing that uh, just to be safe. So you do have markings that says positive and also negative down inside. Right there is your negative. Let me move this. Man, this thing's just in the way. Uh, so you got that going on and also this positive, this is a copper positive pin in here and it is spring loaded so it has a little springiness to it so you don't scratch up your batteries which is very nice. And then on the bottom it is just a uh, it's just a flat, uh, it's kind of bubbled up I guess, but it is not spring loaded, it's just stationary. So what you would do is you just put your uh, positive end in first, give it a little push and it pops right in and that's how it goes in. And now I did not put that lanyard in there so it's probably going to be stuck now. <laughs> so yeah, that's the basic uh, rundown of the uh, you know aesthetics and what it looks like. Uh, definitely recommend you using this lanyard. Most of the Segelis have it and it does help a lot. So let's look at the actual features of this device. So here is your power button on the top where your 510 is and then you have your, uh, your up and your down, positive, negative. Uh, I think these are just arrows. They're not indicated positive or negative. But basically this is your wattage up, your wattage down. And then you have uh, your power button, like I said, three clicks turns it on it will say Segeli and it's gonna it's gonna have a bad reflection going on but basically it will say Segeli and then it will tell you that they uh, check atomizer because there's no atomizer on here so uh, just a few things to show you it has a, a wattage readout it has a battery indicator volt indicator and ohm indicator so it's just like all of the you know all the Segelis pretty much and all of the uh, variable wattage devices that are out uh, today. Um, so I'm relating this mostly to the IPV Mini because basically it is the same same exact uh, specs, same exact chip. Uh, the uh, box is just a little bit different and the way it's presented is different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this uh, Kangard Subtank Nano on here. This is the 18 millimeter Subtank Nano. All right, so right now I'm gonna be firing this at about 24 watts. That's at four volts. So once you screw your atomizer on, it will fire right away. Uh, right now I am uh, gonna be vaping it at 24 volts. Uh, not 24 volts, that'd be crazy. 24 watts. Fire it up, it lights up a little bit while it's firing. And that is that. So uh, everything else basically is the same as the IPV. Uh, you cannot go straight up unless you click down. So to show you, basically fire it up, and I cannot go straight up. What is what's happening right now? It's going through your presets, just like the IPV. And uh, so you have uh, five different presets. Basically, to to set them, you go to the preset you want, find the preset you want. Uh, let's say this is M2. Press down. Pick your uh, pick your wattage, what you want it to be, be presetted at, and then fire it up. And then we can scroll through and you will see that it's saved. There we go, M2 is saved at what we just set it at. And that is how you set your presets. 
Uh, but basically, in order to do a change on the fly, you can't just go straight up because that will just cycle through all of your presets. You have to fire it. Um, after you're done firing, it of course goes in standby. Press down and then you can press up and adjust through your wattage up. And basically whatever preset it was on when you pressed down to start adjusting, that's what preset it's going to set this wattage to. So uh, let's look at it. It goes all the way up to 30 watts. And there is no round robin effect. So if I keep clicking up, it's just going to stay at 30 watts. If I go down, it will go all the way down to 5 watts. And that is your, uh, your adjustment. There we go, 5 watts. And yeah, that is your basic uh, your basic settings on this. Also, like the IPV Mini, uh, if you fire it, let it go into standby. You hold your up your up um, button in your power button. You can switch to your PWM mode, pulse width modulation, and then you can also do down and power, and that will be your DC to DC mode. So those are your two different modes. Again, like I said, if you want to know more about uh, well, like I said in the IPV, the IPV review, if you want to know more about the PWM versus your uh, versus your uh, DC DC mode, you can definitely check out Phil Vasardo's video. Uh, he kind of does runs tests on them, and I will put that in the the uh, the description box below. But yeah, that is the basic rundown of this device. So it is very nice. Uh, I'm enjoying this more than the IPV uh, the IPV Mini, at least the first version. So the 30 watt version. Uh, definitely enjoying it more than that. Uh, really enjoy this little sleeve here. Very simple to pop on and uh, it just protects your device. You don't get much scratches going on. So yeah, I'm, I'm loving this device for, uh, you know, for these sub tanks and for, uh, you know, 0.5 and up. Uh, it does say it fires down to 0.3, but like I say, with most 30 watt devices, just keep it at 0.5 to be safe. And uh, yeah. So uh, let's go back up to FaceTime and talk about it just a little bit more. So there you go. There is a quick rundown of this box mod. Let's go with pros and cons. First pros would be that it is very sleek. It is very nice. It fits in one hand. At least I have a very large hand, so it does fit in one hand. I like that it comes with the, um, it comes with the sleeve, the silicone sleeve, because that's very comfortable. Uh, also protects the, uh, uh, you know, protects the device from getting scratches and all that stuff. I like how the battery inserts over the IPV Mini. Um, uh, it vents a little bit better. At least it looks like it's venting a little bit better. Uh, yeah, the buttons are a little bit more clickier. I do enjoy that more. Uh, so, um, yeah, those are those are my thoughts about it. Pros and cons, back and forth. Um, as far as everything else, yeah, I'm definitely going to say that I like this more than the IPV Mini. And, um, yeah, that's just that's just my thought. Uh, the one thing that I do, I would have to say I enjoy the most, is the IPV Mini gets dark, uh, especially in uh, standby mode. It just goes dark, and you can't really see it very well. Uh, but in this one, you're able to see the, the readout a little bit better when it's in standby mode after you fire it up and stuff. So those are just my thoughts about it. But yes, if you want to know more about this device, where I picked it up and all that good stuff, definitely check in the description box below. I'll put a link to that. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna wrap up this review. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please like it. And if you like my videos in general, please subscribe. And as always, stay classy and keep vaping.